Victor Galvin. Yeah, 24-7 mindset. Yeah, 24-7 mindset. Let's go. 24-7 mindset. So, I mean, you kind of touched a little bit on this. But my next question was, what is the hardest part of running a successful business? But I think you got a little bit into that. So let me ask you this. If it's so hard, why do people keep... Like, if, if it's so hard to run a business, why do, why do you think people keep doing it? I, it? You know, I just think that a lot of the things, there's so much people that they never learn until they fail, right? So I always say that I learn 60% of others, 20% of the things that I don't know that I don't know, and 20% of problems that I create to see what type of problem will come in. So a lot of people just, they just don't want to listen. There's so much data out there that if everybody says, don't start a business if you're going to do this, this, and this. Start a business, but this is what you got to do. A lot of people don't pay attention to that. They got... They got their way of doing it. They think they can do it better. They think they got treated bad. They think that that, that they know how, right? Mm-hmm. So that's the, the little things that always is going to get you. So, 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 so people is just going to keep trying on error. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who tells you. When your mind is not there, it's not there. Mm-hmm. Everybody just think with 30, 40, 50,000 bucks, they can start a business, right? But it's, it's, they're so wrong. You can't start a business with that type of money. Mm-hmm. You can start a business with zero money, mm-hmm. with the right people, putting you in the right jobs, and the right people that can get you those jobs, that can tell you how to talk to get money up front, See what I'm saying? That's the difference. Mm-hmm. That's that's where we're going. This is the whole thing. So people just keep trying on error and and and, and just I I think if I had another opportunity to do it, I would not do it. If I only know what I know what I know before. Mm. If what I know now, I can start 20, 30 businesses, no problem. And that's the reason I'm saying that. Why get somebody to help? Because I know what I went through, and I don't want others to go through. I have all this data. Mm-hmm. I can I can make anybody successful. I can make it doesn't matter what it is. You name the corporation. I know that I can get them a minimum in two years, a minimum to seventeen million, minimum. And that's still a little bit of error, mm-hmm. but there's people like BD that. They can fucking take in two years. Mm-hmm. They can take it to a hundred million man. Brandon Dawson. Brandon Dawson, yep. Why? Because because he has what I have here. And what he has here, he wrote it down. He created processes and systems. I haven't created that. Mm-hmm. But as soon as I create the process and systems, it's game over. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the difference. Brandon took 12 years to put all that. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. That's what he did. Created a library he of data. He created a fucking library, and that's why he's the master. He's the goat of businesses. And so so, so I can help anybody take it to 17 million. We're still going to have some challenges. We still have, we're going to have some problems and stuff like that because I just uh, there's a lot of things that I'm still trying to figure out, but it's not the whole 50 questions that hurt you, right? I probably... I probably got three or four that, that that hurting me still, but you know it's a matter of time. I'm improving. I'm still assisting to my mentorship um, programs. I'm still have mentors in my life, and I still listen to people older than me. I always say that I I I never have, never, you never gonna see me or hear me say that I have younger friends than me. Never had. I always was have friends older than me or like way, way older. Like mm-hmm. I always touch people by saying, hey, if you if you go back to high school, what would you do different? Mm-hmm. And and most of the people tell me I will risk more. So that pushed me. Wow. 
that's what I'm doing. So I'm heading mm-hmm. right. But I ask those questions. If you go back, what would you change in your life? I will start investing more. I will do this. I will do that. And I'm like, I'm, I'm on the right way. So that confirms. So that's why I have older people. You know, I got friends older than me because, because mm-hmm. of that situation, because I always ask those questions. Okay, so you've been, you, you've been in hard business, all right? You just talked a little bit about it. So let me ask you this question. What do you recommend or what, what, do, you, what do you think is the key to success on a business? To start a business, I'm sorry. I think A, I think is, is, is to have a, a good team. You have to have a team that is aligned to what you want. Mm-hmm. And everybody should in the right direction. The team is only a team when everybody works together, when everybody's looking at the same vision. Yeah. And the reason I say this is because a lot of the people quit or leave and they're like, oh, this is not part of the team. We're supposed to work hard. We're supposed to kick ass. We're supposed to work late. No, that motherfucker's smart. He knows they're heading into a disaster because he, he doesn't see a good vision. When a team, when people stay in a company and fight for, for pressure, for hard work, for everything, they see what's coming. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yep, yep. So, 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 so that's A. You got to have a great team. Uh, B, I believe that you have to have roles and responsibilities before processes you can jump into process platform systems and all that stuff that's fine but i believe you have to have roles and responsibilities for every person because that is going to identify and hold everybody accountable for what they're supposed to do Mm -hmm. what they can do extra and what they cannot do extra Mm -hmm. so that's going to hold the team together because if there's somebody there's somebody that don't understand his role is not going to fit in that culture, in that team mm-hmm. that is A, on the A, the mm. team. Yep, yep. So the, 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 the roles and responsibilities has to be there, has to be clear, crystal clear. I don't give a fuck if you're a $100,000 company or if you're a billion-dollar company. That's it. C, just be ready for a lot of failures. And when I say be ready for a lot of failures, I'm saying the team. There's going to be things that you are pushing that has never been done before. Only crazy people align as a team to after crazy things. So there's going to come a rejection, pressure, uh, people talking, whatever. Mm-hmm. Just be ready. Just keep going through those noises. You're heading the right way. If you're not hearing anything and there's no failure coming, when I say failure, it doesn't mean you're losing millions of dollars, you're losing people, that type of thing. When I say failure, that everybody's mm-hmm. criticizing you, everybody's saying you're doing it wrong, why you do it this way, that's when you just say, wow, let's go. Let's go celebrate. We're doing it right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. And, 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 and when people talk about you, it'll be people below you. So those people want you to fail. Mm-hmm. They hate you. And they hate you in a way because Grant Cardone always says that the people that is going to criticize you is because they're worried that you may make it and they never tried it. They just don't want you to be successful because they just they see themselves that they didn't make it. And they're, 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 they're worried that you can make it and now you prove them wrong. Yeah, yeah. And um, D, learn from those failures not to listen. And when I say not to listen, is you listen, but ignore it. Just keep going, oh yeah, just keep going. Just keep going. Mm -hmm. That vision has to be crystal clear. So when you're learning from failure, you can take it to the next level. You grow two to three steps in your growth. And when you get quiet and you just listen to all the criticism and people that they give you and you don't answer back, you grow four to five steps more in leadership. And that's what a team needs. So you need to learn from failure so you can be a better leader. Because when you first started, you don't need leadership. Mm -hmm. 
You just need to have a fucking manager, a door, and somebody's going to, and, 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 and a, a dream, a dreamer. Somebody's going to go and get all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't need no leadership. Leadership, leadership start coming in when you start failing. How you answer, how you finish, how you deliver, and then do it again and do it and again. So now everybody follows you mm -hmm. because they, they, you're, you're crushing it. So, yeah. So that's when leadership is starting needing in the three million to five million. And then the leaders start identify, oh, my doer is doing it wrong. We need to get everything in place. Their roles and responsibilities are in place. Now you start working on the process and systems. Mm -hmm. So that's where you start bringing a CFO, maybe at the 12 to 15 million, you start bringing a CFO. You start bringing operations. You see what I'm saying? Yep, yep. So, so that's what leader start watching, start forcing to see, to identify what they need. Mm -hmm. So everybody has to follow this leader, even if he makes bad decisions, but bad de follow bad decisions with a plan is better than no decisions. So everybody put in decisions with no plan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. E, a lot of the people work a lot of hours and it's so hard it's so hard to work for success when you hear me say right now i still wake up at 4 4 a.m to i go to bed at 9 p.m right but a lot of these people they're not gaining anything they're not paying attention they don't know why they're working they just know that they got to work hard to achieve a lot of things so so just remember that you're working for a dream that you don't that it doesn't exist if you don't got all this shit in place. That one out of five, one out of ten in five years is gonna go out. So identify how many hours you're working and how much you're paying yourself. And make sure you pay yourself a minimum ten dollars. Mm -hmm. Ten dollars for the hours of work, you'll be paying yourself a lot of money. A lot of the people say, let me pay myself 1700 bucks or 2000 bucks, just enough. But when you divide that by the amount of hours, you're probably paying yourself about $3 an hour. But if look, look at the difference, only $7, but just pay yourself $10. And you're going to say, why am I paying myself so much? Because you're working too many hours. So it'll force you to go back and say, what the fuck I'm doing? I'm working two hours. So it's going to start pushing because you're not going to bring the money. You're not going to make the money. Why are you going to work so hard for $3 an hour that everything you get reinvested into a company that's not growing, that's not, that doesn't have no fun, no sex, no nothing. It's mm -hmm. fucking dead. So, 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 so at least pay yourself more. So it'll force you faster to identify the problems that, that, that so you don't have to work a lot of hours. And F, you don't have time to relax. A lot of people, a lot of people think that they own in, they, they think they own in a business is the right thing. But let me tell you something. 100% of the time, your employees is going to have a better truck. They're going to eat better. They're going to have a better wife. They're going to have better kids than you because you're not going to have time to be there with your wife, your kids. They're going to have more time with them than the time you have. They're going to be enjoying a little bit of the cars, the food, and everything. You're not enjoying anything because there's so much pressure in your life, your business, and all that stuff that it's so hard to go back and understand why you got to do it different especially when there's nobody to help you. So you have zero time to relax. And when I say relax, I didn't mean, uh, you know, sometimes you got to take a break. I don't believe on that, you know. I just believe you just keep going. And whenever whenever you just tired, you just sit down, you pass that right there, and that's it. That's my relaxed time. I j I'm not looking for it. I don't look for it. And But I'm, I'm working for a vision now, and, and I understand every part of my growth, my life, and everything right now, I just enjoy it so much that I don't want to have free time. I just want to have my schedule. I want to have my mind uh, uh, pushing companies, pushing people's dreams, achieving things, and it's just so beautiful. Mm. And it feels, it sounds like I don't have time to relax, but 
when when I achieve big things and I help people, that's when I relax. But I never, I I, I just never comfortable. I'm I'm always uh, think I can do more and I'm not doing enough. And I always beat myself so much. Like why why I I didn't did this? Why I didn't push this? And I'm obsessed to grow to help. So relax. I don't. It doesn't exist on my vocabulary, but. That's some of the things for low thinking people, that low belief thinking people, that they think that they need to sit down to relax or enjoy their family for a little bit. You know, they just look for something. And then when you have that time to relax, you end up going with your bodies to drinking or something that you haven't seen because you create an a, a environment around your family that they don't want to be next to you and you don't want to be next to them because, number one, you suck, you're broke, you don't bring no money to the table. Number two, you can't go out, you, there's nothing nothing that attract them to be together and stuff like that. Believe me, they love you. You love them, but, but what I'm saying, when you're in that role, you just don't think on the things that make sense. You just think on the things that let me get out so I can have a little bit of free time. Let me just get out so I can get away from my company, from all these BS. Let me just drink a, a couple of beers or a couple of whiskey so I can forget all my promises. Just on and on and on and on and, and never ends. And um, with all this, with everything being said, it's important that people learn to identify the things that you want in your life and how you want to push them. And how you want to push them, make sure that you stay consistent so you can take it to the next level. 24-7 mindset. Perfect, perfect. Victor, I'm going to ask you one more question, though. Go ahead. Um, all right, so when you when you had your business and you've seen all the trials and tribulations you were going through, what, where was that one key moment that you were like, man, it's starting to, look, it's starting to get better now, man, and finally the hard work has been paying off? Can you remember that time? A hundred percent. I go back go when ahead. I wanted to shoot myself. Well, no, no, that was. The, I mean, that no, was no. The time. I, I can, I can tell you how it turned. I'm saying business wise, though. Yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. That was a break point in my business and a break point in my life. I remember when I wanted to shoot, shoot myself, shoot the wall. But after that, I came out of there and I say, "Fuck all this. Why I'm complaining about all this?" Why I'm get, I have whiskey and, and beer for me, but not milk. So that's when I, boom, step out and start calling. I say, you motherfucker, you better pay me. Victor, you haven't even sent an invoice. I say, I don't care. Pay me. Figure out one. So I used to do an invoice and a receipt of 7-Eleven. So I would go to their office, and they're like, we're just going to have to charge you 4%. So I say, fuck it, I don't care. So I start collecting money. I was the problem. That's when it turned out. I just did not say that, but... But that's, that'll answer your question. That's when everything turns around. So I identify, I'm like, wow. In fucking two weeks, I collected over $150,000. What happened? So now every time I go into problems, I call the company, do the same shit. But I was doing it wrong. But at the same time, the people was helping me because if you don't ask, they're not going to give you, right? They mm -hmm. think you're doing well. And sometimes you take people to lunch and you just tell them, hey, look, man, I'm falling apart. I don't got no money. Can you pay for this lunch? I know I'm the one in budget. You're like, what you mean? I thought you was making money. I'm like, no, I'm not fucking making money. They're like, wow, let me see what I can do. So I would be doing two to three jobs for the same company. So that person would call everybody in a meeting and say, guys, Victor needs money. Can everybody help him? So everybody start helping me. Everybody jump in. So that's when you identify at the break point. If, imagine if I shoot myself. I was never going to uh, figure out this success that I'm going through right now. Why? Because it's break point. So you just at the top and either you break or you fucking down. You, you go down, right? So, so, so now you start identifying the things that you can do to collect money and all that stuff. But I never wrote it down. Nobody never told me that. I never had a mentor. I never had a company to come and tell me. Why? Because I didn't fucking listen. I was broke. I was busy. I didn't have no time. So that's when, through the turbulations in life, that's when I finally made it. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. VMG finally arrived. Victor Galvan, all in. And then you go through all the BS, all the problems and all that stuff. You get to another break point, and now you're like, fuck you, motherfucker. You, you got to close the business because you lose, because you grow. And, 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 and you hire a superintendent that he didn't put the right uh, ties 
on the walls. The walls blow out. Now it's going to cost me $150,000 here, $150,000. I'm thinking, what the fuck I'm going to do? How are you going to pay for this? So now you're working there at night and all that stuff. And you're like ready to explode again. And then like, what are I going to do? And then you let the GC know the problem you have. And then the GC comes and say, look, I'm going to help with the officers. I'm going to pay for the machine. You just pay for the labor. So they make it easy on you. So you don't go out of business. And you just keep going. And you pass through that break point. And now you say, I'm going to... I want to watch this superintendent, but you just do it on air and air and air because you're growing. You don't got time to check. You didn't give him a processing system. You didn't give him a role of responsibility. You don't give him none of that. Mm. So that's when you go to an, an, another break point and they're like, fuck, finally I got it. I got the right people. I told him how to do it. I'm watching him. I'm calling him. I'm following up. I get busy. I can't follow up. I can't watch him. I can't go and check him. So what do you think is going to happen? Another mistake. Oh, the building is two inches high. What are we going to do? Okay, so 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 it's it, never ending. It's, it's it, never it, ending. It, it keeps going. No it matter what. It just keeps going. So 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 it's just breakpoints in your life and breakpoints in your business. Brandon Dawson has has he mastery every detail on your organization when you're gonna have those problems. He's the one. He has a solution He's the one that for has all those the problems too, right? He's, he has the. I not, I don't care what you if you software, you store, you candy store, you uh, clothing store, your construction, you uh, pools, you whatever it is food, uh, chiropractors, whatever. He has all the data. 